Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to upload a video to YouTube. While this video is geared primarily towards beginner users of YouTube, this could be helpful for some people that are just looking to upload videos for the first time or someone that hasn't used YouTube in a while and wants to see the latest way of how to upload a video. So first thing is first, we're going to want to open up our YouTube homepage. Now, in order to upload a video, you already have to have a YouTube account. At the top right, there's a box that says Upload. So left click on that. And now we will have a window here where we can select files to upload or we can drag and drop specific video files to upload. Now my preference is actually to drag and drop the file and I normally save the file to the desktop or you could also click on this little arrow icon and it will open up a window in which you can search your computer to find the file. I'm going to just drag and drop my file. Normally I save them on the desktop when I am about to upload them. So I'm just going to drag this Windows Movie file over and instantly it'll start uploading the file. Now most video file formats are supported by YouTube. I will put a link in the description just so everybody can have a reference as to what specific file formats are supported or not. But basically if it's any video editing software like Camtasia or Movie Maker or iMovie, it should be a supported format to be uploaded to YouTube. So once you Upload the file, it'll give you a bunch of options here. Under basic info, the top bar right here will let you put in a title, so any title you want. I believe there's a character limit, so it doesn't really make sense to have a really, really long title. In the description box, you can type in any description you would want for your video. Under tags, tags are what allow viewers to find your videos and it makes it easier to get higher in the search results for people that are looking for videos similar to what they are searching for. So if you have a video about something about cats, for just as an example here, you'd want to put in different words that people might be searching to try and find your video. Up at the top right here it says public. We can choose our privacy level. So if you want the video to be viewed by everyone, by anybody searching on YouTube or any search engine, you can select public. Unlisted will mean that if you share the link with other people, they can view it, but you will not be able to find it using a search engine. Private means that only you will be able to view it, and scheduled will mean you can schedule a specific date and time you want the video to be released. And I found this tool to be very helpful if you want to release videos on a specific time schedule. So I could set this video to be released at any time between now and probably 20 years from now, if not longer. You can also add a message to the video so when it's being sent out to subscribers it will deliver a custom message alongside the video. At the bottom here under video thumbnails, this is where you can select the thumbnail or picture that will show up alongside your video description when you're searching on YouTube. You can add a custom thumbnail if you believe the three auto generated ones do not satisfy your needs. Just have to make sure they are the correct dimensions. And if you hover over this, it says that you would need preferably a 1280 by 720 image. That is the recommended size. I believe you can get it larger or smaller. It just might not look right on the thumbnail. You might have black bars on either side of your picture. And you can also share this file on Google Plus or Twitter if you wanted to. And also, it does not appear that I'm able to add this video to a playlist. Normally, this option is available, and if you have any playlists or you wanted to create a playlist to put this video in, so it would be a more organized way to categorize your videos, that is also another option for you. Under monetization, if you are a YouTube partner and you're trying to generate ad revenue with your videos, you can select monetize with ads if you're not part of the YouTube partnership program. So that is a different video in itself, so this might not be applicable to everybody. And then under advanced settings, you can allow all comments, which is a default option. You could also show only comments that are approved. 
which means it'll have to go through you and you'll receive a notification saying this comment is pending approval and you'll have to manually approve each comment for that video. You can sort the comments by the top comments, so the ones that are rated the highest, or just the newest comments to be put onto your video. Users can view ratings for this video, so likes and dislikes, licenses and rights ownership. A, st a standard YouTube license means that you have rights over your video, whereas if you do Creative Commons, you're giving right to other people to use your video. I believe you still retain ownership of the video, just you are allowing others to use it. Under syndication, you're allowing it to be played everywhere around the world, or you could just select monetize platforms. Generally, everywhere is good enough. Monetize platforms is pretty much all platforms, so if we go under caption certification, if you wanted to specifically add captions to your video, you could do it through here. I don't really think this applies to too many people unless you are uploading another video that has already been released. So generally, if you're making your own content, you're probably not going to be using any caption certification. Distribution options, you can allow embedding on different websites, which means that if someone wants to put it on their website or forum, you will allow it to be embedded. If not, if this is unchecked, then they cannot embed it on their website I don't really see why you would do that because you are taking away from some of your potential viewers and you're also giving the option to notify subscribers of your channel if you want the video to show up in their dashboard when they open up YouTube so they can see the latest videos you have released. You can also enable age restriction if you have violent content. Under category, you can do a wide variety of categories from auto and vehicles, comedy, how to and style, science and technology, and that kind of thing. Video location, if you had a specific location that you made the video in and you wanted to share it, you could put it here. I've really never seen a need for this, but if you wanted to put in your geographic location, you could. Video language, you could set a language. I never really do that. I think it just picks it up on its own when it's doing auto captions. You could set a recording date if you chose to do so. Video statistics, you could allow statistics to be viewed publicly on your video. So if, you, if you've ever gone on the description of a video with a little drop down menu and then clicked on statistics, it would not be available if this was not checked. 3D video, if it was 3D, you could check mark that. And if there are any paid product placements or endorsements in your video, you could check mark that right there. And I am going to just make this a private video here. And then I'm going to left click on done. And the video has been successfully uploaded to YouTube. And we can open up this link. This little lock here, we can see this video is private, so only those of access can see it. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.